Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be going over a $550 Hackintosh build. This is a part of a series that I've been doing on $500 PC builds. We did a $500 AMD build and then after a much deliberation and me trying to figure out the best parts to get the cheapest but yes but performing Intel build together, we were able to come up with one for $550 as well. Now this Hackintosh build is a tweak different from our other Intel builds, specifically changes the motherboard, the RAM, and the case, but the case is objective so really and truly our main differences here are going to in fact be our motherboard and our RAM and then I think I also threw in a different power supply but the graphics card and the CPU are the same and that's because at the end of the day really when you're building a Hackintosh all you're doing is building an Intel based gaming PC that is then going to be able to run Mac OS. Now I've designed this to be able to run Mac OS pretty easily right you shouldn't have too many hiccups not to say it's going to go off without a hitch because it's very hard for that to happen with a Hackintosh but all of this hardware comes very highly recommended and is very popular in the Hackintosh community, meaning it is going to be very, very, very easy to get support on it, and that is what's great. Nevertheless, all of the products that I mentioned in this video are linked down below on Amazon and possibly Newegg in the future, so be sure to go down there and check those out. If you purchase through any of those links, we do get a small commission at no additional cost to you. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this build. First and foremost, we have our processor, which is, of course, from Intel, as I've already mentioned, is the Core i3-8100. This is a great CPU and it'll be great for any and all task you want to use your Mac for, whether it's Photoshop, whether it's Adobe Premiere, whether it's actually using this as a Windows machine and gaming on it while running Mac OS for your business and work and doing all that stuff. If you want to do that using dual boot, this CPU will be great for it. So that is something that's great about this. This will be a great CPU for you no matter what you're looking to do with this Hackintosh. It's very versatile and that's what I really like about this system. Now from there we need to talk about our motherboard and as I said this changed from our other Intel build and it is actually from MSI, it is their H370M Bazooka motherboard. This is going to be a great motherboard. That'll give us some upgradability in the future. Having four RAM slots and the ability for us to upgrade it to 64 gigabytes of RAM. Overall, that gives this great upgradability and that is what I like to see. If you're building a Hackintosh, one of your biggest things that you can do is upgrade the system in the future and you can do that very easily with this motherboard. Now, speaking of RAM, how much RAM are we putting in this system? Well, I'm actually only going with 8 gigabytes to 4 gigabyte sticks of Patriot DDR4-2100 133 megahertz memory. This is what's recommended for Hackintosh because this is the speed of memory that Apple uses. Now, the thing is here, if you want to upgrade to 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's very, very easy to do and it's going to cost you less than 70 bucks to do it by buying two more Patriot sticks. But if you wanted to bump your RAM up even more, you can do that. You just throw up to 64 gigabytes of 2133 megahertz DDR4 RAM into this thing and it will work perfectly and you'll be able to upgrade and do all that stuff and anything else you want to do will, won't require 64 gigabytes of RAM. I honestly wouldn't recommend taking this system over 32 gigabytes of RAM as it sits because really and truly macOS is pretty RAM efficient unless a program has memory leak which Discord's been known to have from time to time but that's not here nor there. That is what RAM we're going with in this system and it'll serve you pretty well for pretty much all the tasks you want to do. Um, we're actually running an iMac on gigabytes of RAM right now and we can edit on it, have Discord open, Photoshop and everything. So you shouldn't need more than 8 gigabytes of RAM, but the easy upgradability to 16 makes this Hackintosh even better. Now from there, what about our hard storage? Well, a lot of people say on a Mac you need to have an SSD and I honestly don't think that's true. We run our Hackintosh off of a non-SSD system, right? So it is a just one terabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue Drive in our Hackintosh and Mac OS boots up fine. And guess what we're putting in this system? A one terabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue one terabyte hard drive, the same one that we use, and that is because it's going to get the job done. If you want to spend 50 bucks and get a cheap SSD to throw in this thing as well, you can do that, and I will link one in the description down below, but that will knock your build up to around $600 instead of $550, so keep that in mind. But you do have that option if you want it, however, it's not required, and because of that, the one terabyte drive from Western Digital will be great for hosting everything that you have on your Hackintosh. Now, from there, what about our graphics card? Well, this is the same as our other Intel build here. It's an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti 4GB card. This will actually be good for some 1080p 30 to 60 FPS gaming on the Windows side, even on your Mac. If you want to game on your Mac, you can do that with this graphics card much better than what Apple has in their systems currently even. So yeah, that's what's great here. And overall, this is just a great GPU that will allow your Hackintosh to be used for years and years and years into the future without any issues whatsoever. One more thing I always like to mention right after I mention the graphics card is the bottleneck of the system. And this system only has an 8.5% 5% bottleneck, meaning that you're really not 
not going to have any bottlenecking issues. The big PC builders out there like CyberPower and stuff try to shoot for less than 15%. So the fact that we're less than 10% is incredible and gives this system a well-balanced look that will uh, overall make it last for years into the future. Now we still need two more things, a case and a power supply. Now cases are very subjective, but for this one we're going with a really budget case, the Rosewell SCM-01. Again, this is a super budget case, very cheap case, but it looks pretty sleek and it's going to look pretty good on your desk without taking up a ton of room. However, I do have a video outlining the top five PC cases under $50 linked at the eye up there. If that case isn't your style and you're looking for something else, any of those cases will in fact work with this build. Now we still need our power supply and our power supply is actually going to be from Corsair. Their TMX Gold 550 watt, obviously gold plus certified power supply. This is a great power supply and it's actually a bit of overkill for this system. I'm not going to lie here, but that is fine because it allows for upgradability and that is what's great about this system. Plus it's not breaking the bank. For 50 bucks you're getting a very high quality power supply from a very good manufacturer and again, it is less than $50 and it's semi-modular. It's just kind of everything you want and that's why we're going with it even though it is giving you a bit more extra wattage than you necessarily will need unless you start doing some serious upgrades. And that's the thing. This allows for any serious upgrades without upgrading your power supply. And overall, this build comes out at $549.37. If you ask me, that's not a bad deal for an awesome Hackintosh considering a similarly spec system from Apple would cost you well over $1,000. But nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome Hackintosh and PC build guides and stuff like that every single week. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out guys. Peace.